Hey what's going on guys, I'm Diamond Rishad. Today I'll show you how to create this cool glowing card effect using Elementor Page Builder. As you can see at the normal state, this card has border around it. But when we hover over on it, it shows a really cool glowing effect around the card. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and create this in Elementor Page Builder. First let's take a container. Let's rename this container to Main Container. Then let's make this container's mean height. First select the VH which is viewport height. Then make it 100. After that let's make this direction row. Then align items center. And then let's keep these gaps 0. After that let's go to the style tab. And open this background type classic. Then select the color and in the color just type 080817. And we will have this dark color. Now let's click on this widgets and add another container inside this main container. And let's rename this one card. Now make sure you select this content width to full width. Keep this width to 100% and gaps 0. Now let's go to the advanced tab and on the padding let's make it 20 on the all sides. Now inside this card container let's add another container and rename this one inner wrapper. I'm actually renaming every container because unique names will make it easier for you to follow. Otherwise it will be container and container everywhere. Alright, now let's keep everything as it is here. Content with full width, gaps 0. Now let's go to the advanced tab and let's make the padding 0. Now finally inside this inner wrapper, I'm gonna add a final container and I'm gonna keep this container name container. Now let's make this mean height 400 pixel. Then let's make this justify content center, then gaps. 20 pixel on the column and row. Now let's go to the style tab and add a background color on this container 080A17. Now let's open this border and select a border type solid and border width type 2. Then border color, let's make it C667E3. And it will make it a purple type of border. And it will make a purple type of border. Now on the border radius, let's make the box little bit roundy, so 6 pixel. Alright, currently it's looking like this. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna select this card container, right click and duplicate. Duplicate two times and we'll have three cards like this. And by the way, from the main container, under the layout, make this align items to center to make everything in the center. Alright, now I'm gonna start adding contents inside this middle container. Alright, so let's open this card container in the middle one. And inside this container, I'm gonna add a heading widget. And let's change the text here and make sure you select the HTML tag to H2. Then let's go to the style tab and make it alignment center. Then text color, let's make it E7, E7, E7. And it will make it white color like this. Now let's open the typography and as a font family, let's search Pragati and you will find this Pragati narrow, this font, select this. Then let's make the size 35 and font weight, make it 600. After this text, I want an text editor. So let's add it here. And here let's change our text to this. And now let's go to the style and make the alignment center. And of course the color, let's make it E7, E7, E7. And then typography, select the same font, which is Pragati narrow. Font size 22, then font weight, make it 300, which is light. And then finally, I'm gonna use this line height. First make it EM, then type 1.5. All right, now after this text, I want to add a button. So let's add it here. Let's go to the style tab and make the position to center. And in the typography, let's make it the same font. Pragati this. Then font size 16 pixel, font weight 600, and this transform, make it uppercase. Now, I want to make this button's background color transparent. So under this background type and this color, drag this slider all the way to the left to make it transparent. And let's make the text color E7, E7, E7. And I want to add a border around this button. So border type solid and border width, one pixel and border color. Let's make it same as the text color. So E7, E7, E7. And then finally, I want to add a border radius. I'm gonna make the border radius. 15 pixel and now I want to add a hover effect on this button a simple hover effect so let's switch to the hover tab and first let's make the background color to e7 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 so the hover effect will be like this now we have to change the text color let's make it 080 a17 and this hover color will look like this 
So basically we are done designing our single card. Now it's time to add the main glowing effect to it. By the way, this video is brought to you by kitpapa.com. If you want to create your own or a client's website, within a few clicks, kitpapa.com is the ultimate place for you. Here you'll find pre-made template kits for almost all businesses categories. You can preview each kit upfront with a responsive view. They also have an installation video guide so you can install within a minute or two. If you are a freelancer or an agency owner, you can purchase them all together at a very affordable price. Alright, let's now go back to our tutorial. So first, select this inner wrapper, this container, and let's go to the advanced tab and scroll down and open this custom CSS and we will have this field and in this field we have to add our custom CSS code. And to get the custom CSS code, you can just go to the jimfahaddigital.com and I'll put the link of this page in the description and just from here under this inner container hover effect CSS, select all this code like this and copy it and go back to the page builder and paste the code inside this field. And even after pasting, nothing is happening here. So we have to do a really simple thing. Just select this main container and under the advanced tab, if you scroll down, you'll find this Z index. Just here, type 1. And now if we hover over it, it is showing us a super cool glowing border effect. By the way, this custom CSS feature is only for the Elementor Page Builder Pro version. If you have the Elementor Pro, it's great. But if you don't have, you can get it from the gymfaddigital.com and you will get a great deal if you go through this Get Elementor Pro this link. Alright, now it's time to finish our overall design. So what I'm going to do is, let's close this card and I'm going to hold control and select these two unfinished cards, right click and delete two items. And those will be deleted. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select this finished card and duplicate this. And we will have the exact same container and hover effects. Now I'm going to quickly change the content inside each of the cards. All right, I have changed all the contents. Now it's looking pretty cool. Now, one last thing to do is on this section is to make it fully responsive for tablet mode and mobile mode. So first of all, let's turn on this responsive mode and let's check how it looks on the tablet mode. So currently how it looks, we can actually make it a lot better. So first select this main container and under this layout, first turn on this wrap to wrap. It'll be like this. Now select individual card. Select this first one, then under the layout, make this width, select the percentage and make it 48%. Then it will have this size. So I'm going to repeat the process on the each card. Make it percentage on the width and make it 48. Then the last one, select percentage, make it 48. Now it is kind of looking like this, but I want to make it all center. So select the main container and from here, Select this justify content center to make it center like this. So in the tablet mode, it's perfect. Now let's check on the mobile. In the mobile mode, by default, it is perfect. And with this, we are completed making our super cool glowing border hover effect. Now go ahead and make one of these for you. And if you like this video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below this video about the learning experience and how you like this elementor trick. And if you need any help on your WordPress or Elementor project, you can contact us through our website that is jimfahaddigital.com and we will try our best to help you personally. Once again, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. For now, bye-bye.